In this video, I'll be showing you inside draw.io how to really quickly and easily make images like this to be included in your diagram. I'll also show you how to make those images available later in your library so that other team members can reuse the image as needed. Say you have a sensor, you want to have an image in your diagram. So if you have an iOS device, iPhone or tablet, you can go to the camera, take a picture of it, then go to that picture, and you can press and hold here. Let's try. All right, then click share and save image. Then I like to use Imgur to upload this image, then it's available anywhere online. Click create and we can click our most recent photo, the one that's already been uh, pulled from the background, hit next. And we can type this relay. There we are. And upload. <laughs> now copy that link, send it wherever you need to send it. Now anyone can access this picture just using the hyperlink here and then you can come over here and you can click download. Now, if I grab that download over here, I copy it and I drop it in a PowerPoint presentation, you're gonna get the image with no background. Then you can also grab that image and put it in your diagrams. Um, if we click edit on the scratch pad, then we can drag and drop the image. We'll click resize if we need to, uh, to keep the files small and you can name it. This is two relay two channel. Save. Now we can, um, drop that image into our diagram. And the cool thing to do is you can right click and edit um, connection points. So here we could say, well, we wanna have a connection point at each terminal. So I'll add three here and I can delete this connection point so it's not in the way. Click, just click the delete key, select it, click delete. Okay, now I've got three connection points here. Hit apply. Now, if I want to, oops, if I want to use, let's say, this arrow to go to my connection point, it'll go right there. I can click send to back. Now my arrows will be connected and the arrow moves whenever we move the image. Another neat thing you can do is saving space and keeping everything on the cloud. Um, you can go back to your image and you can click copy link. And here when you add the um, item to your scratch pad, you can do import, sorry, add images and paste the URL here. Oops, you'll have to grab the particular URL. So copy image address, paste that one here. Now you have online view relay to channel. Now it's not going to reduce your file size at all and it won't re reduce your resolution and everything's available um, pulled from the cloud. Once you have a number of um, devices in your diagram, then you can go back to edit the scratch pad and you can export this whole library. And you can say, well, this is my scratch pad. Um, and you can actually save that to your device or download it. And you can make that available to all of your team members uh, for future projects and different diagrams. It'll be swiftly available. And when we click relay, all right, we can actually find the relay in our, if we've named it, then we can find it when we search and 
Um, I really like to use pictures because the depending on what's available in these libraries, you might not like that. Another neat way to grab an image quickly is to search for it on Amazon. Then you can get exactly the unit that you intend to include. And um, so if you snip this using the snipping tool or any uh, capturing program, click new. And when you box it in, make sure to give it lots of margin and then edit, copy, come over to PowerPoint, control V, and you can just click remove background. It does a really clean job if you gave it lots of margin. So then uh, you can actually save this as a PNG, save as picture, and you can say image stepper motor. Okay. I'll drop that in my downloads. And that also can be imported. So you come back over to your diagrams, click add, oops, edit this, and you can say add images. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna drop it from my downloads over here. So image stubber motor, I can name that. Hit save. Okay. Only thing is now it has a, a large bounding box. If you want to clean that up, then you could come over here and do crop. You can drag that down to be smaller before you save it. Okay. But, um, I would show you really quickly what happens if you don't, if you don't give yourself a margin, like if we do a new snip, and we bound it real tightly. The um, PowerPoint will think that you're wanting to remove more. So if we click remove background now, it's going to do this. You have to do mark areas to keep, to try to keep those. And you'll be fighting with the software a little bit to try to get this stuff sometimes. But then we can click keep changes and you'll see here, okay, we carved out part of the connector. So it's uh, easiest if you just give it a large bounding box to begin with. Okay, that concludes our video on generating nice graphics for your images and diagrams in draw.io. And I hope it was helpful for you.